Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to talk about another use case. Uh, I was just wondering about the use case for this particular demo then I thought about let's talk about something related to KB Records knowledge articles. Uh, there are certain hidden gems when we talk about the knowledge articles which are available out of the box but not many people are aware of those. So let's just take a look at those in the instance itself. So if I go to let's say one of the uh, knowledge articles. So if let's say uh, this is one of the knowledge articles that already exist in the system and I do have certain options available in the uh, portal like uh, market is helpful or maybe read this article. But do you know if there's an action uh, that is getting uh, triggered in the back end if I'm marking this as helpful. How do I make the uh, or how do I let the owner know that hey there's something about this knowledge article which I did not like and I want to take an action on this something like that. So let's go back to the previous screen and I can show you certain options which we can make use of to do certain configurations related to this. If I right now mark this as not helpful there will not be a anything that gets assigned to anyone or somebody to take a look at it. Let me search with this knowledge article here. So if I search with this KB record, mm -hmm. okay, directly open up, okay, let's go via this route. And if I open this record, so there is one tab called feedback where it is getting stored that it was marked as not helpful by system administrator, but this is not telling anyone to do take certain action on this and let's also verify the emails module if there was an email that went out. Uh, I don't see an email that got triggered. Okay, now if I take you uh, to the knowledge module, there we have certain properties which are, again I'm saying this that available out of the box which we can make use of. So here is uh, one such property uh, and the property is uh, this one. Create actionable feedback task when an article is marked as not helpful. So if I do this there will be a task which will be created in the KB record. So let's just try it out how it works. If I mark this as yes and I click on save. Okay, the property is updated now. Let's just verify. Uh, yes. So if I go back to the same article. So this is the same article. I just reloaded the page. And if I mark it as not helpful now then it asks me for certain uh, additional details let's say I want to see the article is incomplete and I can add certain comments if it is incomplete and if I submit this again it gives something uh, similar a very similar informational message on top and if I go back to the KB record now <laughs> where is it so this is the KB record and I can see here that uh, a feedback task is created which is assigned to the author, the owner of the knowledge article, the KB record and the exact reason is available over here and the description is the feedback which I mentioned in the details. 
So this is one property which we can make use of out of the box. Let's say somebody thinks that uh, there's something wrong with this article. They can mark it as not helpful and a feedback task is assigned to the author of the article and it's their wish whether they want to update the article or do something about it after discussing internally. Now let's take a look at another hidden gem. So there's another property which says when set to two feedback tasks are created only if users submit proper reason for negative feedback. So let me uh, mark this property is also yes. And I'm going to save it. So this is my knowledge article in the portal again. Now if I mark it as no or uh, helpful as no and I do this I click on no thanks let's see a uh, feedback task is created this time or not so this is so this is my KB record and if I refresh this so there is no feedback task created now but if I enter a valid reason then only the feedback task will be created this is because of the second property which we have set as true so let's try that out i am going to enter a valid feedback If I let's say click on submit now and refresh this page, then you can see that a second article is sorry, second task is created with the exact reason that I have selected over there. So, this is how the second property helps us to make sure that a task is created in the author's queue so that the author's queue is not populated with unnecessary tasks which the author does not even want to take a look at. So the second property is just making sure that if you are entering a proper reason with details then only a feedback task will be created otherwise no. So let's try that out by selecting only the first property itself because we did not try that scenario. If I just mark this property as no and I just save it and let's go back to our article and if I let's say select as no and I do not enter any details over here and I just click on let's say uh, no thanks and let's just refresh this list so you can see that if I am selecting only the first property is two then it is creating a task even if I am not entering any valid reason. So it does make sense that I enter a reason if I want the article to be updated. I simply cannot mark the reason as other and leave details as empty and click on no thanks. So I think these property it would be a best advice that these properties are used together because the one makes sure that some action will be taken because the task is uh, assigned to the author's queue. And the second one makes sure that only valid reasons which are entered will be creating a task to the author. So thank you so much for watching. These are two of the hidden gems that we can utilize uh, in a knowledge implementation. Bye-bye. So